gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy and Undivided Trinity. Amen. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We long for the fire of God's cleansing to touch our unclean lips, for our guilt removed and our sin wiped out. So we meet Father, Son and Holy Spirit with repentance in our hearts. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Father, pardon and forgive you for the death of his Son and strengthen you to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so together we pray. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And our collect for this, the feast day of the Holy Trinity. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let's hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's uh, declare our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as together we pray. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith, and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us uh, bring to mind those things that are worthy of thanks and praise, and uh, things too, where we love uh, God's help and assistance. Father of heaven, whose love profound a ransom for our souls has found. We pray for the world created by your love, for its nations and its governments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Son, incarnate word, our prophet, priest, redeemer, Lord, we pray for the church created for your glory, for its ministry to reflect those works of yours. Lord.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Spirit, by whose breath the soul is raised from sin and death, we pray for families and individuals, all created in your image, for the lonely, the bereaved, the sick and the dying. Breathe on them the breath of life, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thrice Holy Father, Spirit, Son, mysterious Godhead, three in one, we pray for ourselves. For your church, for all whom we remember before you. Bring us all together before you in heaven to receive life, pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Just have a few moments for our own private thoughts, prayers and intentions. Christ, who is our peace, peace from the Holy Spirit, who gives us life, the peace of the triune God, be always with you, and also with you. Bless to you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread and wine to set before you, fruit of the earth and vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks, most gracious God, holy and undivided Trinity, because you have given us the light of the knowledge of God in the face of Jesus Christ, that we may grow into your likeness and be changed from glory to glory. As we watch for the signs of your kingdom on earth, we echo the song of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love made perfect in our human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation. Loving us to the end, he gave himself to death for us, dying for his own he set us free from the bonds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. On the night he gave himself for us all, he took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high, and we long for his coming in glory. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ, and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people. And in your mercy hear the cries of our hearts. 
Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free, and fill your church with power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with St. Andrew, St. Mary, St. Swithin, and all your saints at the table in your kingdom, where the new creation is brought to perfection in, in Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, O Heavenly Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So with confidence we too are able to pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. For though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. The bread of life broken for us. Cup of salvation given to us. So let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith, that we may know you in all your ways, and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. And together we pray, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Holy Trinity, in whose name we are baptised, preserve us, members of Christ, children of God, inheritors of the kingdom of heaven, saved by the waters and filled with the Spirit. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.